let's talk about character and paragraph formatting. So if we select any of our text layers and we go to this character or paragraph panel, which you can get to by going to window and opening up the character or paragraph panel, I'm going to just actually open these up separately so we can see both of them at the same time. So here we have character and paragraph. I'm just going to select this first text and I'm just going to actually, you know what I'll do? I'll just delete all of this text and start from scratch. So I'm just going to click here. This is test text. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Select it, just move it to the center of my project. And maybe I'll make a line so that we can see what the paragraph settings look like. So you see here that some of the same settings under character, we have the size. Here is the spacing between the lines. So if I increase or decrease this, then there's more or less space between the line, or you can drop down this drop down and select auto, and it will adjust depending on what the font size is. And the auto matches the font size. So this would be about 69. If I go up 90, bigger than the font size, there will be more space, less, say like 30, then it will be less. See how that overlaps? This option right here is the kerning. So if I increase that, there will be more space between the text letters. If you want to put space between a specific letter, just put your mouse right in between any letter and use this one right here, drag to the left or drag to the right to make it smaller or bigger. This option right here will stretch out the text vertically. This one will stretch it out horizontally. This one is the baseline right here. It's already set at negative 46. It should be set to zero. That's probably just from a project I've worked before, but this is basically moving up or down your text, but it's not really moving down the text block. It's just moving it down. Imagine there were lines and you were trying to write on the lines in cursive like you we all learn in third grade except most people don't learn cursive anymore this is like writing the text below the line so i'm just going to leave that at zero down here we have other properties so we can make the text a faux bold or a faux italic what faux means is false and what that means is if your text doesn't have a bold setting up here or even if it does, you can choose the bold or italicized font right here. And this is Photoshop making this text more bold by adding a stroke or a border that is the same color as your fill color. And it makes it more bold or italics that way. This one will make it all caps. This one's big caps and small caps. So if I wrote with big caps and small caps, a test text you see what that looks like versus all bold. This will make your text a superscript. So if you do want to have a number, so say we want to have a number right here, right next to this text and make it a superscript, we can do that or a subscript like that. And you can make these smaller as well. So say we want to make it a subscript, but even smaller, we can just highlight that one letter or that one number character, whatever it is, and you could even raise or lower it using this baseline shift as well. We can underline things or strike through things with this option right here. Underline or strike through or both. So let's get rid of that underline, all of this stuff let's get rid of and the one. So moving on to the paragraph panel, this is similar to what we saw up above. You have your left justify, center justify, right justify. Here you can indent the left or the right margin or the first line. If you are left justified and you indent the left margin, that's going to affect that. If it's not, if it's center, this thing's not going to affect your left indent because it's centered. We don't see these options highlighted to fit the width of your text box. But if we did create a text box, so let me just take our text tool, create a text box. Let's make the font a little bit smaller and I'll write a little bit more. This is a test text. Just copy and paste that a few times. I literally just pressed command A to select it. And then I'm going to press command V to paste it. So now all this text is in here. 
And if I left justify everything, you see that it goes in and out on the right side. But if I want to justify everything, it will space out the text depending on how you want it. If you want it less justified, but everything justified to the edges, center justified or right justified or everything justified in a big block. So those are some cool tools to use for different types of graphic projects. With, when I am using and editing a lot of text, I will just put my character panel and paragraph panel right here. Maybe even get rid of my adjustments panel when I'm not editing photos. Thanks for watching and in the next lesson we'll learn about warping your text.